All right, guys, we are back. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Nice and crisp. Uh, it's currently the 5th of uh, May. To Friday the 5th of May. I thought I'd take, go out for a bit of a hit. Uh, beautiful morning, beautiful weather. I think I'm a bit overkill with the amount of... Uh, uh, cold weather gear that I've got on. I've got thermals on and stuff like that. And I've got this, check this out, I've got some uh, winter clothing that I got from Salty Captain because I use all their products, uh, which is the, the boat wash, the, the boat flush, and the uh, four-wheel dry wash. Um, and they had this winter special, you get the, 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 the neck hoodie, you get the, the beanie, uh, socks, you get, you know, tops, stuff like that, all thermal kind of stuff. So I thought I'd wear it today. I've been wearing it a couple of uh, trips out and it's uh, it's been good. But uh, yeah, anyway, so it's a bit overkill, I think, because I'm starting to warm up a lot, but let's see what happens when we get into, um, you know, in flight. Uh, so today I'm going out, I'm going back to old school ways, I'm going out for squid and kings, mainly squid. Um, I kind of, this year I've had a bit of bad luck getting kings. I've got a, quite a few, but nothing of uh, legal size or decent size. Um, but I'm thinking like today we'll give it a go. So I'm going to head out to Cornell uh, and do some squidding around there. Hopefully I can get some squid. If it's not for um, uh, for dare rigging and eating, I'm hoping to get some arrow squid because I get my best success going for kingies um, using arrow squid. So we're going to try that today and we'll see how we go. Um, beautiful morning, beautiful morning. Winter's kicking in. You know, we've only got a few more weeks until winter's officially here, although it's going to be a late season, I think. Um, shout out to everyone that's uh, liked and commented my videos. Uh, thank you so much. It's been awesome. I'm loving it. Um, and I'm glad that I'm helping people out um, to understand fishing and so forth. And someone messaged me and said to me, can you do like a, a, you know, a thing of your boat, like go through and do a video of your boat and your setup and all that. And I'm going to do that. Um, just so I can show you that you don't need to spend 50, 60, 70 grand to go out and get a boat. I bought my boat cheap secondhand from Hunts Marine and I uh, did a little bit of decking out to it and touched it up and stuff like that. And it runs like a dream. Uh, and it does everything. As you can see, I catch kings, jews, brim, you know, everything, everything. I've been out in the heads, I've caught sharks, I've, you know, like it's done everything. And a boat that's cost me under 10 grand. So yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's what I've been doing. Thank you so much again, once again, for all the comments and stuff. It's awesome, I'm loving it. Um, and I'm looking forward to doing some more content. Hopefully I'll be able to do some stuff during winter, which is fishing gets a bit tougher, but I'm going to endure it and so forth. Still gonna do a few more jewelry runs. Still going to do a couple more kingy runs and so forth. So still, there's a bit of life in me before winter kicks in. Um, but yeah, all good. Anyway, Gabba Gabba, I do that so much and I'm so good at it, which scares me. Uh, so I'm just going to stop now. I'm going to get out there um, and uh, let's see if we can get some squid. Um, I don't know why I started sneezing halfway through fanging it out here. <laughs> Something flew up my nose and so yeah. So I haven't got cold, haven't got flu, don't have COVID. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so we're now here. I'm going to now throw two jigs out um, just on their own and then I'll, I'll work one and I'll, I'll rotate them around. So yeah, just a quick note guys, check these out. These are my gl snowy gloves. They're keeping my hands warm because with all the martial arts, my fingers break a lot. Uh, I've had broken fingers and arthritis in the knuckles and stuff like that. So I've got these on, but look, I've still got enough to be able to kind of do whatever I need to do. So they're really, really good. I uh, just thought I'd show you guys. From Snowby, I bought these from BC, uh, sorry, not BCF, uh, Tackle World, Fergus Tackle World in Tarrant Point. Go see those guys, legends, absolutely legends. Always taking care of you. So yeah. anyway, shut up Richard, let's get started. All right guys, we just did our first drift. Um, I didn't get anything. I got one hit on the on the um, drift rod. So the drift rod, I got one hit um, on the Yaka looking one. Um, so I'm, I'm assuming because of the drift is so fast that the jigs are sitting a bit too high. So what I'm going to try is this stuff. This stuff that I got. It's two little weights from Daiwa, um, and you attach it to the jig, um, and it weighs it down. They're only like five grams each so 
So it's not, they're not heavy at all and they glow as well, so they're really good for night stuff as well. So I thought I'd just, I'm gonna try that. This time I'm gonna bring the drift through the tugboats um, in the middle. I usually get some big, like, squid in there, so I'm gonna try it again uh, and see how we go. Oh, like I said, I just wanna kinda, hopefully I can get a few squid and then boundary. Uh, all right, guys, we just got our first one. It's an arrow. Let's have a look here. Oh, he's squirting. He's hurting for a squirting. So I was just about to give up, and I just went, you know what, I'm just going to keep trying. And uh, we ended up getting one here. Yeah, I know I'm going to get squirted. All right, so we're on the board. Now, if I can get another hundred of those. <laughs> That's good. Okay, so we've got something to downrig now. We've got something to go by, which is good. Um, hopefully now that there's a school of them, and I've kind of worked out where they are, hopefully. We're on again, guys. We're on again. I think this is a green eye, which is good. I want this for food. Ah, oh, it's a good sized one. Ah, oh, look at you, beautiful girl. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Very good, yes. Yeah, that's a meal, that one. Oh. How are you doing? That's awesome. Very, very good. Sorry, guys. Really excited now because it's kind of starting to kick in. Now look at that one. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing it. Okay. Get this back in. Let's close. That's good. Well, it's starting to hit now. Alright, guys. Sorry I wasn't filming, but I got another big one. Food. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Too good. Too good. We're eating. Very, very good. Very, very good. I can even use it for uh, Jewish strips. Uh, strips for, for going for Jews. But, uh, I'm not really. Alright, oh, guys, we've got our fourth one, another monster. Not monster, monster. Big enough. Wow. Guys, we're on to another one. Large one, one as large. Pretty large. Whoa. Pretty large there. So we've done, I ended up with five uh, squid, four big calamari, one arrow. So I'm going to go down, I'm going to go to Molino Point. There's not many boats out there. So I'm going to go there and uh, downrig for a little bit. Um, get that arrow out there. Hopefully the kings are big enough that I can at least take a, you know, a legal one home, which is what I want. Uh, and that way I'll have four, four big calamari. Um, some for food, some I can use for strip baits. Snapper season's coming up, preferably for food. Um, and then I can get some kingfish. So, yeah, um, my, my, if I didn't get any squid, because I'm just kind of doing the kernel side, so I haven't done it in ages, I've only done it a couple of times, and I did pretty well today. Not what I wanted, to be honest with you. I was looking actually for smaller squid, down riggable, but it's okay. We're not going to complain, everything's good. I like the size of these calamari. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, and you know, if that wasn't going to happen, I was going to go to the ports, get some yakas, but I'm not going to get any yakas today. I'm just going to go, get down to the spot, down rig, I've got everything sorted out ready. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can hook up to, to a nice kingfish. Um, hopefully this time of the year they're a little bit bigger, I can get something like, you know, a bit over the 80 centimetre mark would be great. Yeah. You know. The best. Thank you. 
guys that wraps it up today um so it was it was a pretty good day I, i'm happy with it like i went out got some squid uh worked out a few grounds between you know working out how to get squid in different spots so i've always got contingency plans as to get squid um and uh yeah down has got a little rat king there's heaps of rats around i can see them on the sounder and i've got like big squid like that i don't want to waste them on, on rats where i'd rather kind of uh use them for uh, jewies and use them for my own personal pleasure, which is my belly. Um, so yeah, so just a quick note, um, I just wanted to show you guys what I use, just quickly. So the downrigger I use for, for Kings is the Stelco downrigger um, from the downrigger shop, or he calls it the downrigger shop. Um, I think his name is David Hesterlow, top guy, you know, really revolutionized uh, fishing um, in certain ways, like he's been around for years and I, Got a down rig. I'm gonna get another one because this one's kind of I've had it for like eight years and it I pounded it, I've smashed it, um, and uh, it runs like a dream. So yeah, so that's that's the, the down rigger I use. I'll just pick it up and I'll show you guys just to give you an idea of the down rigger. It's got a little release uh, thing here so you can drop the hand. And the beauty of it is, is the arm is quite long, so it goes past the, the outboard. It goes past the outboard. Uh, which is good. Now, um, what I use for kings, I was using a big, um, I was using a, 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 a big Saragossa 18, 20,000, whatever the case may be, and I sold it because I think it was just overkill to be quite honest with you. Um, so I got rid of it, and what I use is this. I've got a Saragossa 10,000, and the rod of choice, and people, it's such an underrated rod. Um, it's the, uh, it's the Shimano, oh, sorry, that's <laughs> Shimano. It's the Silstar Crystal Ocean Blue. Um, uh, it's a 6 foot 15 to 24 kilo. It's got a good soft tip. And the quality of this rod is second to none. I really, really like it. I just thought I'd put it out to you that you can go spend like a two, three, four hundred dollars on a rod, whereas I'm killing it with that rod. And I, I think I got it on special from Fergus Tackle World for like $99. Um, usually it's about 119 Easiest way to kind of, um, you know, get some good fishing happening on a, on a budget. Like I said, I've, I've got a mortgage to pay, I've got a business, I've got bills coming out the wazoo. But you can do things quite cheap. And like I said, I'm going to go through a big thing of my boat, a uh, big review of my boat and my equipment and stuff like that so you guys understand um, that you don't have to spend big dollars, you know, on the best equipment and crazy stuff and big boats to go out and uh, and to catch a good haul of fish. Like today, I got one king. It would have been about 60 centimeters. Um, I didn't even bother measuring, I just threw it back in. And uh, I got five squid. The four of them are in the tank right now, big. I didn't want to downrig those, it's a big calamari. I thought to myself, I could downrig all four of them and go get kings, because there was a big school of them, but I thought, no. Nah. Take them home, freeze them, eat some, use some for baits, you know, strip baits for jewies and stuff like that. And um, yeah, so I had to make that choice. But uh, yeah, all in all, good day. But uh, yeah, so that's some of the, the gear that I use. Like I said, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go through a lot of things. I'm gonna go through the boat, how I've decked out the boat, what I've done to it. I didn't spend that much, uh, and you don't need to. So for those who are like, oh, I can't afford to go fishing, yes you can. There's so many ways of getting squid. You don't have to be on a boat, you can go on land, you can go through the harbor, you can go down port hacking. There's so many different ways of getting squid. Take them home. I vacuum um, seal everything, so I'm gonna take these guys home. They'll be live by the time I get home, because the bait camp's still going, they're very live. Uh, and then I'll quickly kill them, 
vacuum seal them and put them in the freezer straight away. Yeah. And here's a little trick when you put them in the freezer. What I do is instead of just putting them in the freezer and just leaving it, it takes a while for them to freeze up, and you know I think oxygen gets in there and it messes it up. So what I do is like, once I vacuum seal it, I put it into the freezer with like frozen vegetables or frozen fish or anything on the bottom, and then I put them on, and then I put frozen stuff on top, and it freezes it quicker. Really gets it in there a lot quicker. So yeah. Um, and yeah, and that works well. So yeah, just a few little tips. I'm gonna start throwing, you know, you know, little bit of tackle talk and little tips that I personally use. I'm no professional in any way, but I spent many, many, many years learning the hard way. Um, and I don't want you guys to do that, so I wanna share it with you guys straight away, exactly what I do to go out and catch fish, yeah? My next trip will probably be either Brim or Dewey's. Um, uh, depending on the weather, it doesn't look that good. There's a, like it's gonna turn next week. It's not gonna be that good. It's gonna get cold, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Hopefully that there'll be a change in the weather and yeah, and so so. Anyway, all good, guys. Thank you so much for your support on the channel. I love doing it and I love helping everyone out and I love people coming out and going, "You're that fighting fisherman," and shaking my hand and so forth. Thank you so much. It's been awesome. I'm loving the, the I'm loving doing it. Um, you know, my whole life is dedicated to martial arts and you know, training and teaching and so forth. And it's just good to get out here and do something and be appreciated. So thank you, I really, from the bottom of my heart, you know, to all those fish shows out there, your legends, we're legends, yeah? Okay, all right guys, until next time, have a great day.